Oh my god, guys. I can't believe I found this information, but Gary Gensler's twin brother, Robert Gensler, is actually one of the leaders of a management investment firm that is looking at Ethereum. It's insane. I have some crazy information for you guys in this hunt that I've been doing research. Uh, before I start, thank you for watching this video. Crypto Geek News, Crypto Geek Channel is back. And today, I don't even know where to start. So I'll tell you how I got this information. Basically, I was searching after Gary Gensler, particularly his relation to his old, uh, old firm that he worked for, for Goldman Sachs. And on this, while I was doing this search, I found out that he's actually still getting paid by Goldman Sachs. In fact, he's getting paid about $11,000 a year. Or he's going to start getting paid $11,000 a year. He was getting paid about $7,000 a year. This, while looking through that, I actually ended up finding a very important piece of information here that's led me to the rest of the crazy stuff I'm going to show. That Gary Gensler himself admitted that his biggest investment, right, revealed his biggest investment is in T. Rowe Price. And that's an asset firm, asset firm, uh, and that's invested that has about 1.6 trillion dollars from retail investors and institutional investors so then i got thinking to myself let's look at this t row price uh, investment firm that gary gangsler is so interested in and what i found out was they were a firm an american company and they in fact had assets or invested at about 1.52 trillion dollars in fact, I also find out, let me look back, when I searched about this company a bit further, I found out that the lead portfolio manager for t Row is guess who? Robert Gensler. Now, I'm like, who's this Robert Gensler? So then I did a quick Wikipedia search. Robert Gensler is actually Gensler's identical twin brother. In fact, if you go to find out a bit about him you will find there's a beautiful picture of him he looks identical to gary gansler that he is now the vice president of t row price group so this is an investment firm again that gary gansler has the vast majority of his money invested in in and when i did his portfolio search guess where it showed up for td bank and you can see when I did a bit of search for at TD Bank and their investment firms that they use, one of the main ones is T. Rowe Price. Now, I'm like, let's take a look at T. Rowe Price, T. Rowe's price and what they are invested in. So then you get in and I, there's a big article that they had wrote as to their belief into what cryptocurrencies are going to be uh, last. And look what they discussed specifically in this article. Smart contract cryptocurrencies like Ethereum take it a step further by giving rise to decentralization, decentralized finances, which aspires to create the entire traditional financial ecosystem, including lending platforms and exchanges, DeFi's main selling point is, at, is its strict code-based enforcement mechanisms which dispenses with the need for a centralized interior intermediary between transaction parties so they look at two particular cryptocurrencies ethereum and chainlink and as you can see they don't like bitcoin too much because they're seeking technology our technology experts observe that other digital tokens have faster processing speeds and the proof of work computing resources needed for bitcoin mining are coming under scrutiny as per electricity so they're looking for proof of stake and look what they see here we expect there will be an investment opportunity for active managers who can better understand the long term viability of certain currencies 
If this is not conflict of interest, I do not know what is. You have your brother working for an agency that deals or is invested by banks. So obviously they're not going to want institutions that are going to destroy banks like Ripple. They're not going to want those cryptocurrencies. And when you look at the investment and what they're looking at, they want Ethereum and they've mentioned that clearly. When you name, when you're an investment firm and you name two particular cryptocurrencies, those are the two currencies you're seeking. They, in this entire article, name no current cryptocurrencies except Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Chainlink. And they're looking at investment opportunities in the future. This is just crazy. And look, Ethereum right now, and this was published, let's see one. June, July 2021. This is very interesting. Because one was Gary Gensler hired in his position only two months prior. So this in April 17th. So they have been looking at this now that he's in. And this is going to show that the SEC's position is not going to change about Ethereum with Gary Gensler in, in, in the seat. And look what they say. Again, this is on T. Rowe Price's website. That investment firm that Gary Gensler has the vast majority of his investments run through. And that his twin brother, twin brother, pretty much leads. Let's take a look at what they see here. Indeed, we are keeping a close eye on how our governments are responding to cryptocurrency revolution. Although regulators are mainly still just shaping, sharpening their pencils, one of our analysts observes, governments choosing to strictly regulate or even ban cryptocurrencies outright poses a risk to the current investors. But clarity about regulations could also invite opportunities. Prob properly regulated crypto cryptocurrencies could become less volatile and more environmentally sound. Recent ransomware, ransomware attacks, demand payments in cryptocurrencies are highlighting the issue of regulation, regulators. So basically, although the SEC and Gary Gensler are saying that Ethereum is not a security because it's decentralized, what you read a little while earlier about Ethereum here, is actually saying that they like it because it is a bit centralized. That they have some control of it and that it's similar to the traditional financial ecosystem, see, which aspires to recreate the entire traditional system, uh, ecosystem, including lending and lending platforms and exchanges. So, as Gary Gensler and his predecessor said that Ethereum is not a security because it's decentralized, look at what T. Rowe Price is also saying about Ethereum. Small contract cryptocurrencies like Ethereum take it a step further by giving rise to decentralized finance. Oh, so you see, so the brother of uh, Gary Gensler, the organization that he works and leads, sees Ethereum as also decentralized. Oh, and they are looking, as you can see clearly, at potential investment opportunities for those, that, those leaders that they have active managers that have a better long-term viability understanding and viability of these currencies. So, I'm going to leave this to your judgment, but this is some crazy information that needs to be out there all over the place. This is, like I said, absolute conflict of interest for Gary Gensler investing in a firm or through a firm that his brother is the vice president of and that is looking at Ethereum 
as a non-security from their own lens. You know, if you're saying it's completely decentralized and it's the only two cryptocurrencies that you mentioned, Chainlink and Ethereum, then obviously you're looking at those cryptocurrencies. Otherwise, you've just mentioned the general name of cryptocurrencies. And the deal with banks. So why would you want to hurt banks through, uh, you know, a decentralized, a non-cryptocurrency like Ripple, which takes over, you know, a big role of, of the banks. And that's so invested in stocks. So when you look at cryptocurrencies, they are obviously taking a chunk from the stock market. Those investments that would have potentially gone to the stock market and now going to cryptocurrencies, which again is hurting the benefit or the profit that this uh, investment group, is, you know, would have gotten, they feel. So this is absolutely crazy information. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It takes a lot of digging and a lot of time to find this stuff. So if you enjoy this type of content, please, please, please click that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, please make sure you subscribe. And I'll keep you updated with the latest information. My Twitter is Crypto Geek News. So make sure you share this video like crazy on Twitter. Let's get this seen. And perhaps this can make a difference even in this lawsuit against ripple from the sec trying to hurt all of us xrp investors that really before this had you know we didn't care about ripple before this I, you need many of us didn't even know ripple existed but look at us now we're having to fight just to gain some access fair access and hopefully make some gains like the rest of the cryptocurrency market um but again i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you click that like button subscribe and if you found this crazy make sure you leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.